shot in the history of our country. So the timeline would be this. The grand jury will be sitting this afternoon around 2. Uh, they're going to hang around uh, to about 5. Uh, the, uh, according to two different sources, tell Fox as soon as the witness is done, uh, the prosecutors will explain the charges and they can immediately say, we're going to indict this guy. Uh, well, they, they have to vote. Yeah, they, they could vote and they could say, I'm going to indict this guy. Uh, and that could be a quick vote or it could take a little bit more time. Another option is that the DA could ask the court permission to unseal the indictment. So, for an instance, they could hold a press conference ahead of any uh, court appearance. And the word is in the New York Post today that they're not looking for a perp walk for him, but they are looking for a mugshot and fingerprints. And from the Trump camp, they're saying we might hold a big presser right on the steps. The we're respectful of his views on the trial, and we look forward to an opportunity to develop the record. We're also happy that we got extra discovery. As I said, transparency. The key here is transparency. As each day goes by, we learn more and more facts about why this isn't an issue, why this case shouldn't have been brought, and why President Trump has done absolutely nothing wrong. I think that's the case universally. I'm not going to speak to other uh, lawsuits or litigations or investigations, but I think universally that's what we're seeing, is once all the facts come out, once there's transparency, once everybody knows exactly what happened, then they're going to see that President Trump has done absolutely nothing wrong, and these transactions were just the day-to-day -day business between a billionaire and his bankers and insurers. Through the latest where we are in lower Manhattan, the stunning new reporting from the New York Times that Donald Trump is ready for a public perp walk, but Jonathan Dean's reporting that the grand jury is not meeting today. Yeah, Andrea, just as we come on the air, our colleague Jonathan Dietz reporting that the grand jury won't meet today. It's worth reminding folks that all these grand jury proceedings are conducted in secret. That includes the schedule. You know, we know from past patterns that this grand jury typically meets on Monday afternoons and on Wednesday afternoons. But as is usually the case, you know, most of the time we don't know for sure when they meet until afterwards. Some of this can be based on witness availability. Some of it can be based on the availability of prosecutors or the folks who need to be in the room. Some of it could be making sure they have a quorum of grand jurors present to hear the necessary evidence. So we're working to find out more about the delay today and why the grand jury is not meeting today after they had a busy day Monday suggesting that perhaps they were closer to the end of this probe than they were to the beginning if and when we get to that moment. But uh, Andrea, it appears we're at least another day off from that possibility. And I can tell you today after what was a lot of buildup and a lot of energy around the courthouse in the last couple of days, it's simply much quieter here today. The protests that had been planned over the last couple of days had fizzled out. The kind of circus environment that follows uh, the global media when we set up shop on a corner like this one has fizzled out here a little bit. And now we're back into a posture of waiting and wondering what, if anything, is going on on the fourth floor of the prosecutor's office behind me. Yeah, so this is how you know that the Trump getting arrested hype train <laughs> is coming to a screeching halt because CNN has now moved on to the next <laughs> Trump witch hunt which is the whole classified document scandal. But two huge developments overnight. We're going to break it all down straight to the big news in the Trump classified documents case. A key deadline passed just moments ago at the top of the hour. Caitlin, this is extraordinary in so many ways. Can you walk through your reporting? Yeah, and there have been deadlines that we've just hit. One that happened at midnight for the Trump team. One that just happened a few minutes ago at 6 a.m. for the Justice Department. Our colleague, Caitlin Poland, said they did meet both of those deadlines. And there are a lot of investigations happening here. So to be clear, there are several going on surrounding the former president. Right now, what we are talking about is the classified documents probe. This is the special counsel's investigation into the documents that Trump took with him when he left office. This is the latest that is what's happening. At midnight, there was a deadline for Trump's attorneys who are seeking an emergency intervention. Basically, they don't want his defense attorney, Evan Corcoran, to have to go testify again before the grand jury without being able to cite attorney-client privilege, which he did previously, declining to answer some of their questions. What we were told was the 6 a.m. deadline was for the Justice Department to respond to what the Trump team had in by midnight. So we are told both of these deadlines have been met. Now, it all depends on the D.C. Circuit Court. They will be making the ultimate decision here. If they do not step in, if we do not hear from him, we could see Evan Corcoran, Trump's defense attorney, having to go before the grand jury and testify again, this time without that protection of attorney-client privilege. It would be a monumental ruling. Here's a letter sent to the Federal Election Commission regarding the case or brought against former President Trump, sent by the counsel for... Michael Cohen, Stephen M. Ryan, regarding this case. Well, 
the grand jury is taking a day off and not responding accordingly. But nonetheless, I don't think they're going to arrest this man. And if they do, that's a slap in the face of Americans. Subscribe, comment, and hit the bell button for more videos. Thank you. Bye.